Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Ullman and Smyslov. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Moscow in 1956. Ullman had white pieces and he started d4. Vasily Smyslov played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, if now bishop to b4, then bishop to d2. Smyslo played b6, going for queen's Indian defense. g3, bishop to a6, attacking the pawn on c4. Defending. d5, bishop to g2, bishop to b4, check. Knight from f to d2. c5, d takes on c5. Bishop takes on c5. Bishop to d2, and both players castle the king's side. Knight to c6. Ten moves have been played. And black is standing well. Knight to c3. Rook to c8. c takes on d5. Black to move. How would you continue? Perhaps you would expect black to capture with the knight. Smyslov captured with a pawn, opening the file, but now he has an isolated queen's pawn. Knight to a4, attacking the bishop, black to move. Perhaps preserving the bishop comes to mind, do you agree? What would you do? Smyslov came up with one very nice plan. Starting with knight to d4, threatening bishop takes pawn, only to fork in the queen and the rook. Knight to c3, defending the pawn and admitting that the plan was wrong. Queen to e7, adding one more attacker to e2 pawn. If e3 bishop takes rook, rook to e1, defending the pawn, black to move, we have reached the critical position of the game. Actually, critical position of the game was this one when knight to d4 was played. But for the purpose of our exercise, let's call this the critical position of the game. Black to move. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. If you find the move, you'll be very pleased. What did you find? Vasilis Mislov played an incredible move, forking two rooks. What is defending the knight? Well, Ullman thought long and hard and decided not to take the knight. He played rook to f1. What happens if queen takes knight? If queen takes knight, then bishop takes on f2 check. If king goes to h1, bishop takes rook, and after rook takes bishop d4, knight is pinned. Well, if king takes bishop, then knight to g4, after king to f1, Queen to e3 and how to stop checkmate. And one more. Knight to g4 check. If king goes to f3, then queen to e3 check. King takes knight. And now a very interesting move. Sacrificing the rook. This is check. Sacrificing the rook to clear the path for the bishop. 
After knight takes rook, bishop to c8 check, queen to f5. Then bishop takes queen, king takes bishop, g6 check, king to f6, queen to e6 check, king to g5, queen to f5 check, king to h4, queen to h5 check, mate. That is why Ullmann decided not to capture the knight and played rook to f1, losing the exchange. Queen takes knight, rook from f to d8, bishop to f3, bishop to a3, and believe it or not, white resigned. Possible continuation, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop. You can argue that white still can continue to play from this position. Ullmann lost his interest and confidence due to stress caused by a knight sacrifice at move 15 in this position. What a move! Did you find this move? If you did, congratulations! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.